what really excited me about robots is that there's just so many tasks in the physical world that technology could help us with. So when I first got to university, I was really surprised by the lack of women in my class. I decided to do something about it. My name is Muda Cheng. I'm the founder and CEO of Abbott. The robot that we brought to market is our teleport telepresence robot. People can log in remotely through a phone or through a computer and drive their robot around. So it enables people with long-term illness to go to work remotely and kids with cancer and other illnesses to go to school remotely. So it really empowers people to still feel part of a community. Our robots help people and also enable people to be independent in their lives. So when I was growing up in Cairns, far north Queensland, my mum would ask me to do the dishes and other household chores. And I would do those chores begrudgingly. And while I was doing those chores, I'd think to myself, it'd be so cool if there were robots that were doing these chores instead of me. Since then, my goal has been to build robots and bring them to the world. So it's just really cool that you're taking like electromechanical parts, programming them, and then the electrical mechanical parts are then doing exactly what you tell it to do. And so it's very magical, and that magic exists in the real world. In my second year at university, I gathered together a group of uni students and we went to a girls' school and taught the year six girls robotics as a way to encourage them into engineering. I thought, this is a way that we can actually make a difference to the number of girls in our class. And I thought, we're going out to one school, why don't we just go out to all the schools? Thank you for coming to our RoboGirls workshop. RoboGirls has just grown and grown and grown and we've taught over 120,000 girls our robotics workshops. I think that girls aren't going to sign up to do a career or study something at university if they don't know what it's like. Yes. And if they don't know that as a girl, they can be successful and happy and fulfilled doing that career. This one's about me and my, my journey of like uh, building robots. So I think the more women role models we can get in front of these young girls, then the more likely these girls are going to say, oh, I can see myself taking this career path. Ms. Marita Cheng, for significant service to science and technology, particularly to robotics. There were many, many times in River Girls where it was really, really hard and we had no money and people didn't believe in us. These are light sensors. But like, I had hundreds of volunteers around the world that believed in the vision and they showed up. Oh, yeah. It's a bit heavy. Okay. This is a bit heavy. In my robotics company, it's really hard to build a robot from nothing and ship it to people all across Australia. Why is this so finicky? My team reminding me of our goals would encourage me to keep putting that foot one step in front of the other, walking towards that goal. A lot of times people are like, oh, what's the hardest thing about robotics? And I'd say, oh, it's like the wires. <laughs> We're currently working on Jibaru. It's a giant robot arm. On this movable platform, you can remotely control. So what that means is that someone remotely can control a robot arm in someone else's home and drive it around to do very simple tasks. For the person with limited upper limb mobility, it gives them more time they can have by themselves without a carer. When I meet with people and they get so excited by the technology and their eyes light up and they really see how this technology can make a difference in their lives, it just feels so rewarding. I think a lesson that I've learned along the way is to really trust your gut and to do the thing that you like fundamentally believe is the correct course of action for you. And sometimes big challenges will come along and even if they seem scary, just jump in and you'll find yourself going further than you thought you could. You guys are robots now.